It's spring 2012. I have been teaching English in Saudi Arabia for several months and I am really, really bored. It is work, gym, home, work, gym, home. I'm losing my mind. A friend of mine tells me that about a play in English, asked me if I want to audition. I don't know anything about plays. I've never been in a play, but I'm so bored. I said, yeah, let's do it. We both audition and we both get roles and there are rehearsals. We've got a few shows and I love every moment. But I'm thinking maybe it's because I'm in Saudi and things are just so boring here. A few months later, I'm in Argentina, not bored at all, still teaching, but there is a problem. I don't love teaching. I don't really even like teaching. I want to, I really want to, but I don't. And I cannot stop thinking about that play. So I'm in Buenos Aires and I'm looking for plays in English and I find a theater that's producing two plays in English that season. And I auditioned for both and I get parts, two lead roles, bunch of rehearsals, shows. Again, I love every moment of it. And I'm, I'm loving like the jargon that I'm learning, blocking and call time and cue to cue and wings and sides. And now when I hear exit stage left, I know exactly where to go. And I know for sure I want to do this more. And I think I can. People are telling me, Sean, you are, you're good at this. And in truth, it doesn't seem very hard, but I am abroad and look, it's much easier to get cast in a play in English when you're abroad. It's just not very competitive. The real test will be when I go back to the States, back to North Carolina. Well, when I get back to North Carolina, there are three more auditions and three more roles. I mean, they're all supporting, but you know, this is the States and I'm loving it and I'm good. and and. It feels kind of easy, at least for me. I mean, I know it's hard for a lot of people. I hear actors in New York and LA and they're hustling and they're grinding and they're dealing with all of this rejection. But for me so far, six for six. And then I see a production, an equity production of 12 Angry Men. I have no idea what equity means. I, I look it up and I learn that it means it's professional professional. That means I can do this all the time. And I'm starting to think, do I go north to New York or out west to LA? I want to do this all the time. I get to the audition, this equity audition, there is a really long line, like down one hall, down another hall and out the front door. And I am looking at all of these guys and I'm wondering who the other 11 angry men in this play will be. It's my turn. I'm standing on the tape. This is a gigantic theater. This is the biggest theater I have ever been in, ever performed in. I've, I've never seen a theater this size. There's a director and his assistant and they're in from New York. I say my name and I just launch into my monologue. Now you goddamn geniuses had better listen to me. They're violent, they're vicious, they're ignorant and they will cut us up. Now I am trying not to look at either of them because you're not supposed to look at them, I know that. But I can see that they're into it. They're playing it cool. And I'm thinking this director is gonna tell me what that Saudi director told me. He's gonna say, man, those are some very strong choices you made, Sean. And maybe, just possibly, he might just offer me the role right here. And then it will be on to another production and another production. And then I'll be off to New York and LA. And he puts his hand up and here it comes and I'm waiting for it. And he says, Sean, you need to play to the back row. Play to the back row. I'm nodding my head like I know he's talking. I have no idea what he's talking about. He says it again, back row. Oh, raise his voice a little bit. I got you. I got this. Okay, all right, all right. Now you goddamn geniuses, you better listen to me. They're violent and they're vicious and they're ignorant and they're gonna cut us up. We definitely heard you that time. Now his assistant, the director's assistant, he's laughing a little bit. Director asked me, hey, Sean, do you think your character in this moment of the play is yelling so loudly? No. Try one more time. Back row, no yelling. I look at the director, 
I look around this giant theater in that long back row that seems so far away. And I know I can't do it. I may love this theater stuff, but I just can't do it. I can't do what they're asking me to do. I am not a pro. This is not easy. And I've got a lot to learn. So I take a breath. I thank them both. And I exit like everybody else has to stage left. Thanks. <laughs>